So we are all packed up. Tried to keep it light. I just brought a couple dresses, one pair of boots, what I have on, and then these little slides and a couple dresses and then some leggings and a shirt, extra shirts and PJs, minimal makeup, minimal hair stuff, and we are ready to go. Um, we've cleared out pretty much like most of our bedroom. <laughs> we are on the road. Um, the lens to this camera doesn't pop out like my other one does. That's interesting. I'm vlogging on a new camera. My other vlog camera is right here. It's like the older version of this one and the more expensive version of this one, but it wasn't working properly. So I just bought another one overnight and I was like, I'm going to get this fixed. And if I like the new one. At least I have a backup. I mean, this is my job after all. Nick was like, just get us. I was like, I don't want to spend the money. He said, just get another one. Like it's better to just have like, be covered and have one because this one's malfunctioning I swear anytime in my life like electronics aren't working like currently my editing program is giving me issues if you watch my stories you saw that and like this camera is giving me issues this one was giving me issues earlier today anytime like electronics are messed up I google it and it's during Merc mercury retrograde I'm just like every time <laughs> we just left said goodbye to Harlow um, it doesn't feel like I left yet. Like it kind of just feels like we're going out to run errands, which is totally normal and we've done before. So that's not really out of the ordinary. I think it'll probably hit me like tonight when I don't get to say, I mean, we'll say goodnight on FaceTime, but like, it's weird. I've never, I've never, she's almost, she's going to be a year old this month, May 22nd. And I have never left her one night by herself. Not because like, not because like I can't or I didn't have the opportunity or like I guess I didn't have the opportunity, but um, just because I haven't. It just hasn't been a thing. We've always taken her with us everywhere, so it'll be definitely interesting. Um, we're at the fire station right now. Nick went in there to grab his bathroom bag. He left it here. I made some reservations for us at this like really nice looking like Mexican restaurant, but it's like kind of more like Mexican coastal food. So it's like got seafood and everything. It looks really good. Um, we're also going to stop and look at some cabinets uh, at this little place um, on the way. It's just like a, a carpenter who like does it out of his house, I guess. I don't want to be Facebook Marketplace. Seems legit. So we're going to do that. Um, stop there on the way since they're in Santa Ana. And then we're going to continue to our hotel in Santa Barbara. And then um, we'll do our reservations. We're going to hopefully get a spa day in. I just brought my bathing suit as well. And then tomorrow night is Billy Currington. And then um, that's at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. And then we're going to just do whatever we want on Sunday. And then we're going to leave after a nice breakfast or brunch on Monday and head home. And <laughs> the madness will begin. Our demo, like I mentioned, starts on Monday, which is so exciting. I'm just so stoked to get this underway. Like, I spend so much time in our bedroom and... Um, it just sucks to have like a dungeon of a bedroom. Like I'm lucky I have a roof over my head and I thank God for that every single night. But also I just am at home so much and work from home every single day that it will just be so nice to have like a sanctuary that is just nice and clean and like decorated how I want. Like I feel like I've never really had that. We need to stop and get this one a haircut. His neck's looking a little single. Mm -hmm. That's what I say when there's like guys that have furry necks. Like I'm like, oh, they're single. They don't have a girl that shaves it for them. <laughs> Got here safe and sound. I'll give you a little tour of our room. So I'm pretty sure I stayed in this place like a decade ago, but it wasn't as cute and hip. Like the room is not really doing the rest of the hotel justice. It's cute, but it's, you know, um, it was kind of a trafficy drive. Got here. Nick got his hair cut. We went downstairs, had a drink before we checked in. We're about to um get ready for dinner soon but let me give you a little tour so that's the front door this is the little bathroom and it's supposed to look like old school like that's the whole lab and then you've got a smeg refrigerator super cute some snacks and a little fireplace a little bed and cute little seating area and then I don't know if you can actually come out here or not yeah I think there's oh it's locked I don't know how to open this I guess you have to be smarter than the door just realized that I don't have multiple makeup items <laughs> including lashes 
and I forgot that I had like separated some of my stuff from my makeup bag into another bag and I just grabbed my little makeup bag thinking, oh, I just used this to film with Jenna the other day, it'll be good. Doesn't have some stuff in it that I need. I don't have any bobby pins, so I've got like all this hair sticking out down here, which drives me up a wall. So first world problems, it's fine. Um, might swing by Ulta though, one of my eyebrow pencils and taupe is like getting super, super duper low. So there's free drinks downstairs from five to six. So we're gonna go take advantage of that. I'm gonna get a mocktail. She said they make really good mocktails. And then we're headed to dinner because our reservation's in like a half an hour. So here we go. My little dress, I got it TJ Maxx. It's kind of, I think I'm gonna put some little sandal slides on with this, but could use the straps a little shorter, but they are not adjustable. So, all right. You wanna do an outfit haul with me? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Um, I got those t-shirts at Target. It needs to be washed. It's a little big on him. Um, on fleek. <laughs> the hat is uh, Oceanside Fire, Fire Department. Department. <laughs> Pants, uh, Costco. Levi's, Costco. And the shoes are... Chucks. Yeah. Basic the highest bitch. end Chucks. Oh, very basic. fucking happened <laughs> okay you can't see there that's a raptor right here same Not our raptor by the way same great <laughs> open the door for me and i get in the car and i'm like looking around and i look at this coat and i'm like looking at this coat i'm like where did this coat come from like literally looking at the brand of it they open the door it says this is in our car it would have been even better if i got in and like tried to start it because <laughs> i almost did like i almost walked around and then i was like wait i thought i pushed the mirror in like take a shower we're gonna sleep in i don't know what we're getting into tomorrow we're gonna hopefully get some good brunch but number one first things first sleep in with no responsibilities in the morning like what is that <laughs> And then I went to take a shower, not to be a complaining bitch, but um, I went to take a shower and um, all of the body gel is out. I got like one half of a little pump. Should have used some bar soap. Ugh, that's not good for my stretching skin. Did you use the shampoo? Everywhere. On your fucking ball fro? <laughs> From the chest pubes all the way down the ball for <laughs> And as if the $850 a night price tag wasn't enough with its decor, <laughs> um, they also have a little basket up there of goodies and everything costs like $15 in it. They weren't even like, you know what, let's fucking throw these fucking morons that are paying price the phone. They're like, you want a fucking little bag of potato chips? It's $25. You know what this is the sound of? Um, it's a $25 beer. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> You just made me a coffee. We just slept in. I think it's like 8.30 right now. And this is like the most comfortable bed. They have that going for them. We both woke up and we're like, okay, we really need to see Harlow. So let's see. Here's Piper waiting for food. <laughs> And then we got some pictures from Grandma of Arlo eating some breakfast.
It is Sunday. We just had a really good breakfast at Janine's. Janine. Janine. Did you guys ever see that video? That's so fucking funny. Um, so we're about to, we're driving by my grandma and grandpa's old house. We used to come up here like literally every single November for Thanksgiving and play in the yard. And like, I haven't seen this house in so many years. And I just Googled the address and it's crazy. It's worth like 1.4 million right now. And it's like just a house, just like a normal house. Show last night was freaking awesome. Super awesome. Yeah, he, that's like his favorite venue he's ever been to. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I remember all these trees. Okay, so I think it's, um, well, we used to play so much um, soccer. And they have a sidecar, you know, they're cool. Well, I guess you could say we really liked the wine here. That is a giant case of rosé. <laughs> it's just a regular case. I don't think it's a giant. Well, for me, that's the most wine I bought at once. Dinner at that place was like so good. So today we've had, I probably had one of the best Caesars in my entire life. And then also- Oh, uh, Cesar. It's Cesar. Cesar. <laughs> and then the best cornbread I've had in my life and probably the best pasta I've ever had in my life. That was all today. Um, we uh, went next door to that little cocktail place. He made me some killer mocktails and gave them to me for free. That was super nice. And so we are gonna go to the movies right now. We're trying to like fit in all the stuff that we don't get to do with a baby at home. So we're gonna go to the movies and see this, uh, something Uprise of the Living Dead or I don't know, something like that. Some demonic, like something, something gory. That's, I don't know. I don't know if it's any good, but we're just gonna take advantage of being able to go to the movies. <laughs> One last night here. So, oh, Spearmint Rhino. You wanna make a pit stop? Seriously? No. Oh yeah, you're right. It's right now. What the fuck? <laughs> it looks kind of cheesy, but whatever. Whoa, that fucking tree is amazing. Holy shit. Like, I don't know if you can tell how amazing this tree is. That wow. Is pretty fucking it looks crazy. fake. Like, that yeah. thing is huge. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. But that was, that, that, how old do you think that tree is? That tree's gotta be like... At least five or ten years old. <laughs> It is Monday morning. It's about time to head back. We both made ourselves a little coffee. The movie was actually really good. <laughs> like some of it was kind of cheesy, which I appreciated because it brought me back down to earth for a second because I was like a little freaked out. It's so weird because I've never seen a horror movie that's cheesy either. So it's, you know, it's really going <laughs> against the grain. I feel like true horror buffs like appreciate that like level of cheesiness. I don't know because I'm not one, but I've actually thought it was pretty dang good. Um, definitely said some prayers last night, so no evil spirits or Satan attached themselves to us or thought they could. Um, but yeah, pretty good actually. So I didn't actually appreciate how they started it. Like, I feel like they could have redone that whole thing and like maybe had that at the end. I know. Like, or just maybe they should have ended it. Okay, I'm not going to give too much away, but I'll tell you after. So today we're about to just kind of get get up and get out of here, and then um, we are going to stop at a couple like like closet organizational places that like create your closet plans for you, tile places, just some house stuff. Um, so if you guys are still here, 
still watching and want to see that, then give this video a thumbs up and I'll show you some of that in a little bit on the way home too. And then of course you guys have to see Harlow because I mean, we all do, right? I miss Harlow, so. What's the name of this company? I like the name. Naughty Nuff. <laughs> you still got a booger in your right nostril now. No, I know, it's for filtering. Get rid of it. I don't want to talk to people with you with a booger hanging out your nose. <laughs> this is so pretty. This is actually exactly what I'm looking for. I need like small drawers like that. How's it going? How's it going? Ryan, okay. Nice thing, nice Shorter ones. Um, hi, mommy. Hi, baby. Say hi, mommy. <gasps> Hi, sweet girl. Hi, mommy. I missed you. Yeah. Did you have yeah, fun with excited. grandma and grandpa? Did you have fun with grandma and grandpa? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Did you see her new little kitchen? Her new kitchen? Oh, yeah, grandma and grandpa got her this little, little playpen kitchen. Look how cute that is. Yeah. Adorable. Wow, 